Put your hats on, cowboys. Be ready for a deep dive into the world of Yellowstone. You don't want to miss this as we uncover the truth behind the rumors of Kevin Costner's exit from his iconic role as John Dutton. We'll leave no stone unturned as we examine all the possible scenarios and what could have led to this decision. But that's not all, we'll also be exploring the potential consequences of John Dutton's departure from the show and what it means for the future of the series. So stay tuned as we uncover what Kevin Costner's exit could mean for Yellowstone's future. The only way to solve the disappearance of John Dutton to Yellowstone. Will Yellowstone ever be the same without its fearless leader? Could another character step in to fill the void? I was only gonna do one season, but I've done this many, Costner says. I give everything I can to what I'm doing, but the moment I feel that it's not right, I'm just gonna step away, Kevin Costner said when asked about his exit to Yellowstone. Oh no! Wait, the loss of John Dutton could profoundly impact the Yellowstone universe. As the show's central figure and patriarch of the Dutton family, his absence would leave a massive void needing to be filled. One thing is for sure, John's undying commitment to the Yellowstone Ranch means that he is not likely to retire off screen. The only logical conclusion for his character would be death. Beth, Kelly Riley, John's daughter and fiercest ally, has stated that once her father dies, she couldn't care less about the ranch. But with her relationship with Rip, Cole Hauser, and her brother Jamie, Wes Bentley, in question, will she be driven to stay and fight for the land? Without a reason to stay, could viewers also expect her character to be written off? The loss of both John and Beth would be too much for the show to bear. The last episode of Season 5 ended with a cliffhanger as Beth and Jamie considered having each other killed, adding yet another layer of uncertainty to the future of the Dutton family. Dutton's family is about to face their biggest challenge. With the possibility of John Dutton, Kevin Costner, exiting the show, the power vacuum left behind could ignite a fiery sibling showdown full of greed and familial vengeance. If possible, first time in the series, the Duttons will be facing each other instead of outside forces. This could mean that Jamie's, Wes Bentley's, estrangement throughout the past season could boil over in a Dutton civil war as he and his siblings fight to fill the void left by their father. A bloody battle between siblings for control of the family ranch is sure to keep the story going and bring a new level of excitement to the series as we speculated. If John is dead soon, will the Duttons be able to put aside their differences and come together to protect the land they love, or will their greed and ambition tear them apart? John Dutton's death. Could it solve the conflict of his possible exit? The death of a main character is always possible in any television series, and the same is true for John Dutton. Throughout the past seasons, there have been several moments where John Dutton's life has been in danger, and the writers have used these moments to increase the dramatic tension and keep us, viewers, on the edge of our seats. It's possible that John Dutton's death could be used as a plot point in the future. Life-threatening illnesses of John Dutton from the past seasons that can give us a hint for possible untimely death. We witnessed that from life-threatening illnesses to severe injuries, John Dutton has faced numerous health challenges. In Season 1, we were stunned to learn of John's colon cancer diagnosis, leading to a dramatic surgery that removed two feet of his colon. If Costner leaves his role, you won't believe what happened, so keep watching, they can use this kind of scenario. Perhaps his death will be connected to it. Cancer may have attacked him again and this time, it was too much for him to overcome. The second is on John's CT scan. He was advised to get an endoscopy. Ignoring the doctor's orders, John soon found himself coughing up blood and being rushed to the hospital for emergency surgery. The road to recovery was a long and arduous one, with physical therapy being a necessary step along the way. In the season three finale, John was met with yet another challenge when he was shot while helping a mother change a flat tire. With his attackers fleeing the scene, John was left to die on the side of the road. Miraculously, a cell phone in his shirt pocket protected him from a fatal shot to the heart. Rip Wheeler saved the day when he found John and quickly arranged for a helicopter to airlift him to the hospital. After a long stint in a coma and many hospital stays, John finally made a full recovery. Again, if Costner will be out on Yellowstone, they can use this past event. Let's imagine that on Season 5, Part 2, John's luck has run out. Despite surviving multiple brushes with death, he found himself in a familiar yet tricky situation once again. While out on a routine errand, John was ambushed and shot multiple times. This time, there was no cell phone or lucky break to save him. Despite the medical team's efforts, John's wounds were too severe and he passed away on the operating table. 
The news of his death sent shockwaves throughout the community, as everyone struggled to deal with losing the beloved and fearless patriarch. What will happen when an influential figure like John Dutton is suddenly no longer there to guide and protect those around him? Will they rise to the occasion, or will they crumble under the weight of their own fears? Or will the Yellowstone series end early on? Let us know what you think about it in the comment section. The real reason why Kevin Costner will leave his role as John Dutton. Before you grab your saddles and ride off into the sunset, let's get to the bottom of this. According to a recent report, Paramount Network is exploring the idea of ending Yellowstone in its current form due to the shooting schedule disagreements with Costner. In a statement, the spokesperson of Paramount Network uttered, We have no news to report. Kevin Costner is a big part of Yellowstone, and we hope that's the case for a long time to come. They went on to add that with the genius mind of Taylor Sheridan, they're always exploring ways to expand the Yellowstone universe. But on the latest news, last February 8th, 2023, Costner initially asked for 65 days per season when he signed on in 2018. However, he reduced that number to 50 days for the first half of season five to accommodate his other projects. With his award-winning Academy performance in Dances with Wolves and the critically acclaimed Open Range, He'll be co-writing, directing, producing, and starring in Horizon. But now, you won't believe what he wanted. For the second batch of episodes of the current fifth season, Costner, who just won Best Television Actor in a Drama Series at the Golden Globes, suddenly only wanted to spend a week to finish his screen time for the whole part two of season five. This causes morale issues with the rest of the cast. The network has reportedly refused this request. I know what you think. The refusal to the actor request is a sure thing of erasing John Dutton's character, and all the death scenarios we've talked about earlier will only be the possible solution, right? But you don't want to miss this. The network is ready to the possibility of an early ending of Yellowstone if John Dutton quits. But why? Thanks to the success of spinoff shows like 1883 and 1923, the Yellowstone team no longer has to bend over backwards to accommodate Kevin Costner's schedule. And with the Paramount Network now having a robust Yellowstone universe to fall back on, the creative minds behind the hit series have made the bold decision to end Yellowstone a bit early and embark on yet another exciting spinoff. Yes, you heard that right. Sadly, according to the deadline, the upcoming final episode of season five could be the last we see of the original series. So now what's next? And who's next? They may have decided to keep the chaos rolling with the franchise extension series. And the best part? None other than the king of laid-back cool Matthew McConaughey is in talks to star. The network has expressed its desire to partner with the actor, who is phenomenal. There's a massive probability that McConaughey will make a guest appearance as the new spinoff's leading man. It's about time he traded in his alright 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 for some good old-fashioned horseback riding. Will he take on the legendary role of John Dutton, or bring a whole new character to the table? The world may never know. One thing for sure is that the network may have decided to move on and start developing a continuation of the Dutton family story without the actor Kevin Cosner. Will they actually replace the Yellowstone? What will happen to the other cast? Yes, and in short from the report's wording, it's not a sixth season of Yellowstone, but a whole new sequel series. But will the original Yellowstone cast be along for the ride? Well, it's expected to include several of the big stars. Just the other notes from the insiders, Lastly, according to insiders, news of Kevin Costner's scheduling conflicts with the network could just be the tip of the iceberg. They take note that it could be a clever negotiating tactic by Paramount. From the rolling hills of Montana to the cutthroat world of the American frontier, we've experienced it all with the Dutton family. Thank you for joining us on this epic ride, and we can't wait to see where the next chapter takes us. As we say goodbye to one chapter and embrace a new one, remember this, the legacy of the Yellowstone universe will live on, and the thrill of the adventure will always be just around the corner. Until next time, stay wild.